Hello again. We're continuing our little series on creating custom forums for your website using PHP and MySQL. This is part four where we continue to program section.php. Okay, inside of section.php, we're going to start right here where this comment says get the section ID from the URL variable coming in. So let's type in if open and close parentheses open curly brace and close curly brace a couple of lines down so there you have a nice if condition statement now let's make it an if and else condition statement by popping the else condition on there and inside of the parentheses for the if condition we're going to say if is set open and close parentheses for that function type in dollar sign underscore get get all capital letters open the bracket put in a single quote type in id another single quote close the bracket so what that's saying if is set we're using the is set function in PHP to see if the get variable of ID is set let's also put and get ID is not equal nothing that means it's safe to acquire it at that point right there because we would know it's set and that it has some value it's not blank so we can put in this line of code so what we're doing is creating a variable container called SID, which is short for section ID, and we're running the preg replace function on it to strip everything but numbers from that get variable. Just for security reasons, when we query the database, we don't want any strange characters in there, just numbers. So if the get variable is set and it's not equal to nothing, we can put it into a local PHP variable there after we filter it a little bit. Else, let's just for time's sake and for the tutorial, I'm going to do it the simple way and just echo a message to the user saying variables to run this script have been removed from the URL. Let's just put a big error right there and then exit. I could handle that differently and I might program something in to handle that with a little more class. But for right now, if it, the get ID variable is not set, or it's equal to nothing this is what the user is going to see and really if they're using the forums correctly there's no way they should ever see this unless they're tampering with the URL now if you're in Dreamweaver you can go ahead and collapse that up and get it out of your way now we can query the database for that section ID make sure it exists and get the section title so I'm just going to borrow the existing query that we had on the forums index page and the while loop Go back here, pop it right into place. This display variable, I don't need that. And I shouldn't need any of this just yet. Actually, let's hold on to those two variables. I'm going to change things up just a little bit. So I'm going to select all from forum sections where ID is equal to single quote, single quote. And in between the single quotes, I'm going to put in SID. We can limit that to one. So we already have the section ID, so all we need is the title from that while loop. But before we run that while loop, we have to get the number of rows here. So let's type in num rows, give that a variable name of num rows is equal to mysql underscore num underscore rows open close parentheses semicolon put in this SQL variable here into that parameter section for that function and that will read how many rows are coming from this query and this is how you can check to see if it exists now make a little if condition if open close parentheses curly brace down a couple of lines close curly brace if num rows is less than one we can echo out another message like we did here or handle it in any way you see fit. I'm going to echo out to the user. Error. That section does not exist. You have tampered with our URL. That yeah, looks good to me. Now I'm going to handle that a little more smoothly, but for now, that works for me. And this should really, this should never output to the user unless they're tampering with the URL. Alright, so if that code doesn't execute and everything's cool, this while loop will run. 
and we can get out the section title and that variable we've been waiting to get that variable to put right here in the title output for the page title tag whatever the forum section name is now we've queried the forum sections table to get at the sections title the name of it and to make sure that that section exists nobody's tampering with the URL so the last thing to do here is use the section ID which is SID this variable right here to query the forum posts table query the forum post table in the database to get all the threads for this section and we created that table in part 3 the last lesson so let's grab this here let's grab this query select from forum posts select all from forum posts where type is equal to a because we want to make sure we only select the threads themselves and not all the replies so you just want to get the threads that have type a or the posts rather that have a type of a in that database because you'll know that is a a thread starter post and we have to put and section ID is equal to in between single quotes we'll put that SID now the limit for now before I put any pagination in, I'm just going to set the limit to 25 but essentially what you want to do ultimately is put in pagination which I did a tutorial for how do you can set pagination into a MySQL query pretty easily that's for the web intersect uh, website as well that tutorial for pagination if you want to add it's uh it's going to be pretty important for you to get pagination into your forums if it's going to be a popular forums but I'm not going to show the pagination tutorial again in this tutorial series if you want to learn the pagination and how to apply it you can just take that lesson but at this point you don't need it just yet because your forum is empty there's not even a single post yet oh and let's order by before we limit let's order by date time descending I might change that to ascending but I think descending is the right one we want we want all the newest ones to be on top so we'll order them by date time field descending order limit 25 that should work it looks like a pretty clean query to me now we also want to get the num rows and have a while loop for this query so let's just borrow this one all the way up to the num rolls, all the way down to the while loop. Copy that text. And put it here under this SQL. Let's go ahead and collapse this down. Get it out of the way. So if num rows is less than one, we're going to need a display variable here. So let's go ahead right below the query and let's put in dynamic list equal to nothing right now right here if the num rows is less than one so if there's no posts for this section in the database yet we don't want to exit the script but we want to put into this display variable which is going to go down into the HTML we're going to echo it out into the HTML so right here we have to say dynamic list is equal to there are no threads in this section yet you can be the first to post then we want to put an else condition little else condition nest and take that while loop take that whole while loop and put it in this else condition right there because if there's no records in the database for this section you don't want to even execute this while loop and only if there are records at least one then we can create a little listing of links so let's take that dynamic list variable here inside the while loop is where we're going to echo out or rather append to this variable so make sure you put dot equals so you see that equal sign what I did I put dot equals that way this variable it keeps getting appended to and compounded that way it won't overwrite itself each time this while loop executes much like we did on the index.php see that dot before the equal sign that compounds everything into the display list 
All right, so in this while loop, we want to gather out the thread title. So let's just put that as the variable name there. We also want to gather out the ID for that thread. So let's make that name thread ID. It has the row of ID in the database. So if you have the ID and the title at that point, you know you can make a link out of that now. You can use the title as the words of the link. You can use the ID as a dynamic URL variable that will go to the next page in the system. And that page will be called something like view topic or view thread dot PHP. But before that, let's just get these things to list out. So in between these two double quotes here for the dynamic list, I'm going to put in the thread title right here. And I'm also going to put in the thread ID. Well, I'm not going to put that in yet. I'm going to select all that and go up to common, hyperlink, OK. And you can see here that when there's double quotes put into the string, it breaks the string output, so you can't do that. Let's put single quotes around everything. Now it'll render correctly that way. And to have the variable display correctly, you just put in single quote, space, dot, space, go around the other side of the variable, space, dot, space, single quote. So you encapsulate it like that, that way that variable will display correctly within a single quote encapsulated string. So for the href, we're going to send that to a page called view underscore thread dot php. And this one will have id equals this thread id. That way that page will know exactly which thread to pull up and display. So for that variable, let's do the same thing. Single quote space dot space. Go to the other side of the variable space dot space single quote. Now in the end of that, let's just put a break tag there. And now that'll give us a list, a nice little clean list of links. And with the title as the words and the thread ID as the dynamic variable that's going to be going through the URL variables. So all we have to do is I'll put dynamic list on this page. And in the code view, let's put it into the first table cell. So let's remove that space, go up to the PHP tab up here, echo, dynamic list, give it a semicolon, and that's it. So if there's nothing, that dynamic list will display there are no threads in this section yet. You can be the first to post. If there are threads in that section, you'll get a little dynamic list. It's very simple the way that works. Now the last thing that we need to get on this page, or the next thing really we need to get on this page, is a button that says create new thread or create new topic. We'll make it say create topic. So let's run this right now and see what it gives us. Okay, I'm going to click one of these and it says there are no threads in this section yet. You can be the first to post. So naturally I need a button on this page to say create new topic or create new thread. It doesn't matter how I phrase it, just as long as the, the viewer knows that they can click that to create a new topic or new thread into that forum section whether it's empty or not. If you have a dynamic list showing here with a bunch of links to different threads, you still want to have that button that says create new thread. Now I just happen to have a button here that I designed in Fireworks that I'm going to use. I already exported it as an optimized JPEG to the style folder of my forums. So I can go here to the section page in design view or code view, whatever I like. I'll go into code view and right above the dynamic list I'm going to put in go to common, put in an image right there, create the button, create, okay, and there it is. Now all I have to do is put a link on that really. Let's make sure we get a break tag in between that button, or a couple of break tags rather, in between that button and that dynamic list. There we go. So this is what I get when I run it live. Now right above that create new topic button, right above it I want to have the forum name, whichever forum the user is visiting. So to do that, we can get the forum name here from the second query. So let's collapse this query up, the second query here, or the second section, section title right there. Collapse that back up, and down in the output, you want to go right there where that create button is, right above it. Give it a couple of more break tags, and right on top, we're going to write section title, semicolon. Highlight all that, and go up to the PHP tab, and echo it out. Now that won't be very big but we can use CSS to enlarge it or wrap it in H1 tag. 
that's what I'll do. Instead of these break tags here, I'm just going to wrap this output in and press control 2 and that'll wrap it in H2 tags automatically. Press control 2 while something's selected in your code. Okay, so you see what that gives you now? So now you have the nice title of the forum, create new topic button, which I haven't made a link yet because I don't have the create new topic page made yet. That's going to be a form. And the create new topic page is the one that's going to have it's going to have to sense whether the user is logged in or not. But when we get some posts in here, some threads going, there's going to be a nice dynamic list here of links to view those threads. And to get them going, we're just going to click the Create New Topic button. So the next logical step in all of this is to create the page that holds the form. It's going to sense whether the user is logged in or not. That will allow them to create a new topic into this forum, which in this case is the PHP Dynamic Scripting Help. Go back to the forum home. Click this one, Request Tutorials and Scripts. See? Very simple the way it works. Okay, so in part five, we're going to create the Create New Topic page. So stay tuned if you want to carry on further.